Now here's Erica. Mari, thanks. Uh, an 18 letter phrase, meaning a perfect marriage proposal. What could it be? The crossword puzzle filled in the blanks very nicely for one couple in Alexandria, Virginia. When Corey Newman decided to propose to his girlfriend, Marlo Epstein, he knew he had to be creative. And after watching her do the Washington Post crossword puzzle every Sunday for more than a year, he hatched a plan. And I came up with the idea to do a crossword puzzle with uh, the answers being the proposal. Corey, admittedly more of a Sudoku guy, plotted with the Washington Post puzzle editor for months to pull it off. It's important for me to have him tell me anything he could about her so that I would have material to, to put in the puzzle to make it special for her. The crossword finally went to print in this past weekend's paper. Newspapers? No, I'm sorry. No? Okay. So on Saturday, unable to wait any longer, Corey frantically scoured the city for an early Sunday edition that would have the puzzle. When no shops had them, he resorted to swiping one off the sidewalk. Got it. Once back home, with a hidden camera set up to capture it all, Marlo can be seen cuddling up with Corey to work on the puzzle. It was all up to her to follow the clues. It first seemed like a string of bizarre coincidences. 37 across, Shakespeare in love role. The answer, Marlo. Marlo? 39 across, yeah. Casablanca screenwriter Julius or Philip. The answer, Epstein. Okay, am I losing my mind? Finally, on 51 Across, she realized it was something special. The clue, words with a certain ring to them. Will you marry me? With that, Corey just needed one more answer from Marlo. Will you marry me? Yes, of course. Joining us now is the happy couple, Corey Newman and Marlo Epstein. Congratulations and good morning. Thank you know what you. was great? Watching the two of you watch that video <laughs> and relive that moment. You're both so excited about it. Are you still kind of processing this, Marlo, that he actually went to the trouble to get the Washington Post to put together a proposal for you? I'm still not completely sure how he pulled it off. And that's the one thing everyone's been asking us. It just, it really is a grand gesture. It was really sweet and it's all happened so quickly and then all of a sudden we're here and no, I'm, it's still sort of sinking in. Yeah, so how did you pull it off, Corey? Uh, luck, uh, a very <laughs> kind man named Bob Klon made this all happen. Uh, I, when I came up with the idea, I started asking around, you know, what are the people, what do you think of the possibilities of something like this coming, coming to fruition? Everybody told me I was crazy. <laughs> So that's just incentive for me to make it happen. Right. So I started emailing people at the Post, anybody who uh, his email address I could find on the website, and they just kept packing me along and passing me along. And then finally I stumbled across Bob, and uh, he seemed interested. And once he heard the story, he passed it along to some other people and, and then made the whole thing happen. But without Bob, this, this wouldn't work. It never would have happened. Mm -hmm. um, how, what was that process like, though? Because you guys moved in together in January, right? Mm -hmm. You'd been together for about a year at that point. When did you ask Bob for his help? I was late February, early March. So this happened actually pretty quickly, I would say, in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. Were you expecting that? No, because when I first got in touch with him, he told me that the earliest would be July. And then just things just, throughout this entire process, things kind of keep changing on a daily, you know, basis. Yeah. So, so you, then when he told me it could be a lot sooner, I said, well, great, because... Were you ready for it to be sooner? Oh, I, before I contacted Bob, I already had the ring. So, yeah, I was ready. <laughs> you were ready to go. Did, yeah. you, did you know that this was going to be coming up, that there was going to be a proposal? Um, I, I knew, we had talked about getting married, um, we knew really from when we got together that this was it, but I had, I really did not see this coming at all. Um, it's just, it was so unique and, and so interesting and I was just, it's really special and it's kind of nice that everyone else thinks it's special too. Absolutely. You asked dad for permission. Yeah. Yes. Props on that one, by the way. <laughs> um, how crazy is though when all of a sudden you see he's got the video of it? Oh my gosh. Well, uh, the first thing I thought was, oh my goodness, I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> and um, uh, so I didn't really see it until that was actually out in public and I was really surprised. Um, but. I, I guess it was okay. <laughs> it's kind of a nice memento to have, actually. What, what, now, what was the thinking behind the video? That was the post's idea. I, at, actually, at the beginning, didn't want to do it. 
Because I was fearful for my safety. I mean, you don't take a woman the first thing in the morning when she's not dressed. You are a wise man. You are so ready yeah. to get married. I just yeah. felt a little weird about doing that without telling her. But, of course, I couldn't ask her, hey, can I secretly videotape you? But I can't tell you why. Yeah. So, you know, I, I went, you know, and I battled myself back and forth. And I said, you know what? I can just do this. If she loves it, great. We can use it. It's a great keepsake for our kids and everybody and the family. And if she hates it, then we delete it, and it's like it never happened. Yeah. So I went. I decided at the last, you know, the last minute to go with it. And it's all worked out pretty well. Have yeah. you had time as you're still processing all of this, and I'm sure getting a million phone calls to start thinking about the wedding at all, or had you even started <laughs> since you had talked about getting married? Had you had you talked about what you would do for your wedding? We had, and we've sort of gone back and forth. Um, we thought about actually um, getting married next February, because that would be the blizzardversary. <laughs> um, but Which is a day that you guys said you got snowed in by a blizzard. And yeah. so it was a pretty meaningful day for you guys. Mm -hmm. Have you thought about a crossword theme? Perhaps black and white is your colors? Oh, that's kind of funny. What Too a great much? idea. <laughs> Call me later. My rates are very reasonable for wedding plans. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. But this is still probably a little early. Yeah, it is. It's well, just, it's, it just it's great. Happened. Enjoy this time. Thank so much you. fun. Thank you you so have much. a great story. Thanks for sharing it with us. And best of luck. Thank Thanks. you. Now here's Chris. Erica, thank you very much. Now we've got some great honeymoon spots for anybody else out there looking to get uh, engaged or married. India has the Taj Mahal. Paris has the Eiffel Tower. But some of the world's most beautiful landmarks are right here in the USA. Travel and Leisure has put together a list of the greatest American monuments. Editor Sarah Spagnola is here to help us the most... Well, make the most of uh, any visit to any of these spots uh, because they're such beautiful locations. And I think sometimes we lose sight of how we've got all these great spots right here in the States. How did you guys come up with this list? How tough was it as well? Well, the editors of Travel and Leisure looked for places that were accessible, that were affordable. We wanted a geographic mix. We wanted some places that a lot of people knew about and some lesser known gems. So.